everyone welcome to make draft and strand today we are going to start a new series on orthographic projection so we will see about uh, 10 three dimensional objects so you can easily understand by practice how to visualize the object so if you haven't watched my previous video please check first so if you have any doubts on first and third angle projection then definitely it will get clear by that video so let's start our first problem so this is our problem uh, in this 3d object the question may ask an exam like uh, draw the orthographic projection of below object by first angle projection okay so we have to draw the orthographic projection by first angle method okay and in that uh, you have to draw the front view then top view and side view that is left hand and side view okay sometimes only side view is given but you have to recognize that which side view left hand side view or right hand side view because the front view is given by this direction we have to imagine the front view by this direction this is x direction x direction is always the front view direction so remaining is what this is my left hand and this is my right hand so easily uh, visualize uh, uh, side view is left hand side view so we have to draw the left hand side view if in question it's given side view then you have to uh, recognize that it's a left hand side view otherwise so let's start our actual uh, construction start with reference lines first draw vertical and the horizontal reference lines and keep 15 mm space from both the sides so it looks neat clean and readable in first angle projection front view it is always above xy line and front view always gives us total length and the total height of the object in this object total length is equal to 139 and total height is equal to 105 you can easily calculate it so let's start with the rectangular base so the thickness of the rectangular base it is 15 and the length it is 40 plus 80 means it is 120 so draw this rectangular base and there is a fillet but the curves are converted into a straight line whenever we see from the front section next step mark center point of the circular part so here the height of that circle it is 30 and the length it is 40 from the corner so mark that and draw the circle so draw the circles uh, inner circle diameter it is 24 and the outer semicircle its radius is 20 and complete with the vertical lines that vertical lines are joined to the upper surface of the rectangular base Next move towards the bigger cylinder. So the height of the bigger cylinder is 65 plus 15 and uh, from corner it's 6, 6 mm. So mark the center point and then draw the inner circle. Radius of the inner circle is 18 and uh, outer circle radius is 25. next step draw the rib so here whenever we see from the front the depth of that rib we can't see so the inclined lines are converted into the straight lines so draw the straight line the rib thickness is 12 mm and the last step draw the remaining rib which join the bigger cylinder and the semi cylinder so here our front view get complete uh, next provide dimensions neat and correctly and make sure you follow the standard dimensioning rule
so let's start top view so top view gives us total width and the length of the object so here the width of the object is 70 and draw all the projection lines from the front view to make sure everything align correctly so here the semicircular part uh, is there so whenever we see the object from the top so the circular parts are converted into the rectangle because we can only see the width and the length of that uh, circular part so they are converted into the rectangle so here is the semicircular part and um, next draw the center line again move towards the bigger cylinder so here the length of that bigger cylinder is 50 so mark that 50 and take projection from the front view so here is the bigger cylindrical part and draw the center line next there is a inclined rib so whenever we see from the top section top view so it's converted into the straight lines so it's a rib thickness of that rib it's 12 then next the back side rib the thickness of that rib it is 10 in top view always remember that first draw the visible features and after that add the hidden data okay so complete all the visible features here are two uh, fillets are there the radius of that fillets are 8 mm so mark the center point of both the fillets and draw the curves So here you can see the inner circle it is running through the semi cylindrical section so it is not visible from the top direction so it's represented by hidden lines so draw the hidden lines of the inner circle next same for the bigger cylinder inner circle it is running throughout the object but it's not visible from the top so draw the hidden lines so almost okay so our top view is complete here so give the dimensions and complete the views now Let's start the left hand side view. First of all draw the 45 degree line and take the projection lines from the both the top and the front view. Only draw the projection lines that are needed. If you draw all of them it will become confusing. Remember that any side view that is left hand or the right hand it is not based on the imagination. It is always construct entirely using a projection lines which are from front and the top. So here I start with the base. So this is the base of the object from the left hand side view. Next move towards the semi cylindrical part. So here I take projections from the front view and draw the line. Then next draw center line. Next move towards the bigger cylindrical part. I take projections from the top view and then from the front view and complete the circular part. 
draw the center line Uh, don't try to guess where the semicircle or any other feature get complete everything is depend on the projection lines you take from the front and the top view if there is a rib or any other details or its thickness also comes from the projection so remember there is no strict step by step sequence for drawing side views any right hand or left hand so the projection lines guide the drawing for the side views and uh, remember one thing about dimensioning don't try to put all dimensions in one frame use views that represent measurement most clearly that is height in one view or the width in another view depending on what makes sense okay so that's it for first angle projection method we will continue with a new object in the next video uh if you like this kind of content related to engineering subject subscribe my channel and share with your friends and thanks for watching